Hey guys, it's Ben. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a quick unboxing video of Nintendo's two new Pokemon games, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now, I picked this up from GameStop, so uh, they gave me a pretty cool plastic bag. Um, shout out to the marketing team at Nintendo for this because that's a pretty cool gift. Probably just gonna use it as a trash bag, but nonetheless, it is pretty cool. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Now at GameStop, the big reason to pre-order from there was that you were able to get this pin set. They're not high quality pins, but it's a free gift nonetheless. I know, uh, I think Target had some keychains, and I'm not sure what the other pre-order bonuses were, but I did pre-order the double pack, and that is what comes with the double pack. I don't believe the pin set comes if you just get an individual game. I usually always get the double packs because it is something that me and my wife love to play. And so she will be playing Shining Pearl and I will be playing Brilliant Diamond. Now, quick fun fact about the two games is actually my birthday is in April, my wife's birthday is in June. And so our birthstones are actually Diamond and Pearl. I thought that was a pretty cool fun fact, a little, little corny, but I'm pretty excited to get my hands on actually playing the game because it is one of the last few Pokemon games that I have not played. The second being the original Pokemon White and Black. Those are the only other games that I have not played aside from Pearl and Diamond. I know they have updated graphics, but they went with the chibi style this time because it is not made by um, Game Freak this time. So this is made by a different company. Uh, let's see, I can't remember who made it, but I know it's not Game Freak. I'm sure they have it on the front, but they do not. Just says it's made by the Pokemon company. Okay. So the only other difference about the double pack is you do get both games. Uh, you do get the pin set, like I had mentioned. And I believe you also get something... Oh, yes. You get a code for 200 Pokeballs. Now, I don't know if you guys played through the last versions of the games, but I've never made it through 200 Pokeballs. I barely catch that many Pokemon now. Let me get uh, right into uh, this. Uh, I seem to misplace my box cutter. So I'll just uh, rip the sticker off or hopefully not rip the box but yeah it's just a little cardboard box it has a little bit of info on the game it's not something I'm going to keep I'm pretty sure it's on the back of the games as well so it is Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl I can't remember the names of the two legendaries on the front. I think it's Dialga and something else. But yeah, someone can help me down in the comments below and let me know. Before I let you go though, I do want to mention that this is the last call for my Master Chief giveaway. I will be announcing a winner soon, most likely on Sunday or tomorrow, depending on when this video posts. So make sure you go like uh, my Xbox Series X unboxing video, like that video, and also drop a comment saying that you did enter my giveaway. Now, stay tuned for uh, the video after that because I do have another giveaway coming after the Master Chief. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little, uh, little hint. It is DC related. So if you guys are waiting on some uh, some DC freebies, make sure you turn on the notification button. That way you are notified when I do post my next videos. I like to do giveaways. I only do one giveaway at a time, but it's usually once a month. So if you guys are still with me on this journey and you haven't won anything yet, stay tuned. There's a lot of cool free stuff on the horizon. Uh, let me show you uh, a, quick, a quick peek at the pins up close out of the packaging. They're not like high quality pins. They're okay. I'm expecting them to be a little bit more shiny. Um, they're okay looking. I'm not too big of a pin kind of guy. But you know, it's a nice added touch for a freebie. Um, I do miss the days of pre-order bonuses. So this is a nice added touch for that. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, go install these games real quick. And then hopefully I'll be uh, right into the game. Now, if you guys can drop down in the comments which Pokemon starter you guys are going to choose, I'm thinking I'm going with Piplup or Chimchar. I usually always go Fire, but I do like Water too. I'll probably go Chimchar or Piplup. We'll see. I'm excited to play. 
Um, hopefully I'll be putting uh, some hours into it. I really hope this game is actually more challenging than the last few entries anyway. I thought the last Pokemon game was way too easy. There wasn't a option to turn off experience share for all Pokemon, so I felt like my Pokemon were always so much more powerful if I wanted to keep training. But yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you guys enter my giveaway, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.